Okay, I wanted to do some projects with uh, motors here. And here is a uh, motor I got from uh, Micro Center. It's a solar, solar, uh, solar Botics standard DC motor. And I got it for about $7. And um, let's see if there's any more information on the back. 10,000 RPM, 6 volts, uh, 150 milliamps. Uh, 3.9 uh, what's that gram centimeters of torque okay and so let's uh, I'm gonna try to uh, design a uh, motor mount for this in um, FreeCAD and then I'll post the uh, motor mount in Thingiverse for anybody who wants to use the same type of motor on some projects it should be interesting okay there's the motors okay anyway let's get to work Okay, let's uh, get this thing opened up, and we'll take one of these motors out and try to measure it. Got a ruler up here. Let's get this thing out of here. Come on. Okay, here's our motor. Okay, let's see how big this thing is. So we have a millimeter roller, because our pre-cad is in millimeters. That looks like it's more accurate to measure things if you don't go from the end of the ruler. If you start from like, let's say, 29. And it looks like this motor is about... Uh, let's say 15 millimeters in diameter and it's got a flat part that is about let's say 12 millimeters okay does that look right 12 and uh, the length is about no, 16, 17, 18. Okay, let's write those dimensions down. Okay, let's start up FreeCAD, and here we go. And it always starts with the startup here, and we'll just go to when we want to design a part, we gotta put it onto parts up there. Actually, we're gonna do a new one. File new. Okay. And I'm gonna start with a cylinder. And the cylinder over here. If we click on that, it has certain properties, and we're going to make the cylinder. Uh, let's see, we d decided it was uh, it should be 18 millimeters high. You can either type in here, or you can click on this thing, and that's making the cylinder taller. And uh, two millimeters in radius. We wanted to make that. Uh, here I drew out in the sketch. Um, 18 is the no wait, 16 is the inner diameter. I'm gonna make it probably two millimeters thick on the sides. I don't know. We don't want to make it too thin or it's gonna be weak to hold the motor. So 16 plus two on each side is 20, right? Okay, well, let's zoom back out. So we hold down the control and scroll the, the mouse wheel here. Oh. <coughs> okay, there we go. And then we can also hold down the shift key, I believe it is. Oops. It's either the shift or the alt, one of those two. And you hold down the mouse button and you can <coughs> you can rotate the image. Okay. Oh, you know what? We wanted this to be uh, diameter, not radius. So, if we want a diameter of 20, we want a radius of 10. Okay. So that's looking better now. And let's duplicate this uh, cylinder. Uh, copy. Copy. 
copy. I guess paste. There we go. I guess you have to click on the object. So we have a second cylinder here. And we're going to make this two millimeters smaller. So eight times two is 16. And if we look over here, so we have a cylinder inside of a cylinder. Another shift. Okay, there. And so there's our outer dimensions of our motor holder. I'm going to put some blocks across here and subtract the whole thing out. And uh, just keep on working on this. And uh, hopefully we'll have a finished product soon. Okay. Okay, actually, I want to have a base on this too. I don't want to subtract it all the way through because this will just be a hole in the bottom. So I'm going to uh, make the base about two millimeters thick. So I have to make the height of the first cylinder two millimeters higher. And I'm going to move the other one up so it's flush with the top. So this is the way So I click down the other cylinder here. And then you can click on placement and you have some translational things and I can translate it in the Z direction. See how it comes to the top when I do that? It's below the top. There it's above the top. A lot. It's coming up. We just want it flush with the top. So that'll be a plus two millimeters. Okay. One, two, and there we go. I'll fly. And okay. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is I want to subtract uh, the center cylinder from the other one so we have a hole to put the motor in. So I'm going to select these and I'm going to hold the control key down so I can select both cylinders and then we'll use this cut, this cut tool up here to cut. And where did it go? I must have done it in the wrong order. Undo. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Okay. Let me hold the shift key down so we can scroll this thing around and so it looks like an open paint can with a flat on the bottom. Okay, so there is our cylinder. Let's let's uh, we should probably save this files. Save as we'll save it as a free CAD. Oh, we don't want to save it in there. I'll save it in a 3D CAD. Okay, I'll save it as a free CAD file so I can load it up and edit it in a simple way. If you save it as a STL, it's not so easy to work with anymore. At least in free CAD. Okay. So now we'll probably <coughs> make some uh, blocks to block in this area and chop it up a little bit. Actually, maybe I'll chop it first. And then we'll put some blocks on the sides to hold the motor in place. Okay, so I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to make make a square, and I'm going to modify the dimensions of the cube, or cube, I should say. And we'll just change the length and the width until it is appropriate. And the height should be, what, 20? Okay, and what do we decide? They said it was 12 millimeters in height, so we'll just start with 12 millimeters here in height, and we'll try going to moving it around, and uh, we'll move it in the Z direction here, 
Oh, I'm sorry, not the Z direction. The um, what is this Y? Have to guess a little bit. So move it down in the Y direction, so it's kind of in the center of the part. And <coughs> so I think that this is the center line right here, and we want to move it over. So we have six millimeters um, off center for this part. So we'll go in the X six millimeters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that looks like that works out pretty close and we'll say apply okay and maybe we'll copy this part copy paste okay so we have another one of them and we're gonna take the second cube it's right on top of the other one and we'll just move that um, oh I'm sorry move it in the X direction the other way until we are symmetric on the other side. Okay. And oh, I think that's looking pretty good. <coughs> Apply. Okay. Let's take a look here. We'll move it around. That looks like Looks like it might be pretty good for a motor mount there. And uh, I'm going to try to make some holes in the bottom, maybe, using the same cutaway te techniques, and maybe make some on the back to mount it. And uh, then we will try to export it and uh, send it to the library to have them print it on the 3D printer, and we'll test it out for size. Okay. Okay, so I went ahead and I added a couple more holes here in the back, and I put a tab on the back of it, it's a rectangle, and cut out some cylinders, and I think our motor mount is finished, so let's uh, save it, files, save, and then uh, in order to uh, make it into an STL, we have to go to files, export, and Just export that as a STL file. Okay. And uh, one thing I always like to do, I, I did install an STL viewer on this computer, and there's some online viewers also that uh, are pretty nice. And uh, let's see if we can find our. Okay, I, I think if I double click on this, since I've already installed the STL viewer. And I can look at it. You want to check it out before you send it in because, oh, look at that. It didn't come out right. Okay, so let's try uh, try doing this again. I forgot we got to do edit. You want to select all. Okay, and let me hold down the shift key to select both of those. Okay, so they're both selected. Okay, now we'll do export. We'll export again to a. I'll probably have to delete that other one. So here's our motor mount, and okay, so that looks better. Okay, that looks like the part that we wanted the print. So you want to check it, make sure to check it in a oh, in an STL viewer. And uh, I forget the, what the name of this one is, but it's a free one that I got off the web. And there are free ones online too, so check it out before you send it in. And we will try printing this out and see how that fits to the motor that we're working on here. Okay. See how that fits onto that. See if we can get that picture. Okay. Okay, so I got my part back from the library. It looks like they were able to print it without any build material stuck in there. It's just good news. And, um, well, here's my motor. And it looks like the motor just fits in there. Oh. 
almost perfectly. I don't want to stick it in too far because I'm going to have to solder some uh, wires onto that. Looks like the contacts will line up with the holes on the back. I made a mount here for the motor. So there we go. Here's our uh, 3D printed motor mount. Okay. So I'll post this on Thingiverse for people who are interested in that. It looks like it fits perfectly. And uh, it should slide in all the way, but I want to solder some wires on first before I do that because it's really snug so I don't think it will come out very easily. Okay, anyway. I'll show you the Thingiverse page when I post that. Okay, so here's my uh, Thingiverse page and um, for some reason these other ones when I uploaded the STL they created um, like a drawing just from that and uh, I tried the, this one didn't, it was putting no drawing there, and so I uploaded a picture. I guess discussions on the internet said that the Thingiverse is broken, the web page has got some issues. Anyway, let's uh, click on this thingy. <coughs> okay, there's no picture here, so anyway, don't know what's going on there. This is thing uh, 38 two six 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 four and uh, I don't know what to say I guess I can't look at it because there is nothing here anyway here's the thing files it's just the one file if you want to modify that to fit onto your project I have a tab on the back so you could uh, fit that onto something maybe drill a hole and screw it down if you need to or could modify the print. I've shown in some of my videos how you can take STL files and modify them. Um, anyway, I guess that's it. Let's just go back to the main page because there's nothing to look at here. Okay, anyway, so there's our DC motor mount. And uh, this is Dr. Jane's, and thanks for watching.